Get this thing back. I'm just gonna shove Kurt Busch out of the way. Kurt Busch, you should have known better, buddy. We just took him out of light. Come on, let's just get out of here. I just want to get out of this pile up. Oh my God, I'm getting knocked over. What is going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are back here in Wreckfest once again here today, and we are once again here at the Pennsboro Speedway where we were just a few days ago on Wreckfest Wednesday uh, to great success. So we are back here again, this time for the Mini Oval, which is sort of in the infield of the much larger racetrack uh, on the outside. So we're hoping to have some fun with this thing today. It's, it's pretty tight and confined, so this is going to be very interesting. I'm sure it'll be very destructive as usual and as we uh, win with these legends hopefully uh, it doesn't take us all day to get a win like it usually does it seems uh we might move on to some other different types of vehicles to race with so uh look forward to that and then with that i think we're pretty much about ready to go we're kind of starting on an angle here uh in the corner so i gotta immediately hook a turn right here off the start oh and i've been rear-ended already and dumped by the skull bandit Set him over the fence last episode, and there's a pile up already. We didn't even get out of the corner to get to the start finish line to begin the race. And look at this carnage. Look at it. I can't even see where I'm supposed to go. And we've just, I, I've, I'm on a cone right now, or maybe I'm not. I'm on the end of that concrete barrier. But uh, that did not look very good. That's not the kind of start you want. I've got to take down assist already. And we are just buoying some of our way through here. Oh my goodness, the seven, Jeffrey Bodine. Oh, Snickers card, just probably going to get by that. Okay. So, yeah. Very small, very confined, very destructive. As I'm going to ass pack Reg Sacks right off the bat. There you go. We got the ass pack out of the way early. I'm just going to shove my way through a bunch of these guys. We got them flipping, rolling, wrecking all over the place. Kurt Bush is going up and over. We got Cold Trickle right here. Earl Ross driving that one. That's a head on hit. We're in the lead, though. We are in the lead. I don't even know how long we've been in the lead. I didn't even notice. I'm just trying to survive out here. All right. We're. Oh my, where are you going in the nine car? Taking a detour around there, headed the wrong way. Oh my, yep, yep. That was a brilliant time to pull out, and that's a takedown right there on the 27, and now I am I am at risk because we are running low on health. And we are only just about halfway through this race. There we go, all right. Sliding around the corner, almost all the way through the corner. We save it. Oh, get to slide through the gap fast. Oh, get it turned. Get it turned. No, and that is it. That is it. That is a death by the hands of that 24, I do believe. So there you go. Okay, attempt number two. Hopefully this one goes a little bit better. It already has. I haven't been dumped yet, so that's good. Uh, I'm just going to sneak up the inside here, Mr. 46 and the 48 and a bunch of everybody else. And I'm going to go around the spinning 11, and we are making our way up through here fast. There's the 24 that took me out of life in the last one, and we're stuck. We are blocked in, and this is not good. Oh, I saw the 24. Well, you know what? You hate to see it. You took us out last race, and you're out of the race already. Okay, let's keep going here. Get this thing back. I'm just going to shove Kurt Busch out of the way. Kurt Busch, you should have known better, buddy. We just took him out of light. That's a shame. I like Kurt Busch, and we just we just destroyed him. We just destroyed Carl Edwards too with a vicious T-bone. Oh, this is this is gone swimmingly. As I'm already at eight health, and we're nowhere even close to where we were in the last race. Okay, we go. Yep. I need to avoid doing things like that. I just need to not touch anybody, which I don't even know. I don't think that's possible at this track. There's a nice little four health. The dream here. Oh my. We're lucky we didn't die right there. Oh my goodness, how are we gonna survive this? There's no way we survive this. I don't even know where to go. I don't know what to do. These AI are on. Oh, and there it is. There it is. Maybe the, the briskest little tap of all time and we're just dead. We're just deceased in the cockpit. It's all over. Benny Parsons gets the win and I get absolutely disgusted. There are a lot of people over on that hillside over there and they cannot see Jack, I tell you what. That's like standing on the mountain at Phoenix Raceway. It's like, yeah, it's a mountain and all, but you really can't see anything. You're too far away. Come on, at least that's the way I got to believe it is. I've never been there. Oh, did I just make the same mistake I made last time? I'm just going to run it around the outside. I literally just drove it along the wall and wall rode it around, and we are into the lead with that maneuver. There's Kurt Busch. I won't drive straight through you like I did last time, Kurt. Where was the 15 going in full reverse? I'm just going to have to push my way through here. Sorry, guys. Oh, well, that hasn't worked out very well for me as most things usually don't. Oh, Dell Jr. 
the go ahead and ass pack him on the way by. Oh, there goes AJ Foyle. We got the credit for that one. We took him out of the race. Tragic. Snickers car. Give him a shot. I am being taken up the inside by Ken Schrader right now. That is not something I ever wanted to utter. But here we are as a just <laughs> big hit on the wheel well right there. Since that 10 car flying over in the 46 gets a T-bone as well. I'm handing out T-bones to everybody today. Carl Edwards. Oh my goodness me. Me and Carl Edwards are... We're making a race car right here. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got a takedown assist for that. Can I get back on the wheels without resetting that? I can't believe it. I think I'm going to. Oh my way. Then they're going to take down out of it. A free takedown on the one car. That was my gauntlet car. And I've just taken it out. Oh, Kenny Trader. What are you doing? There goes Richard Petty. I've taken out the king. Well, I have usurped the king. I have taken his throne. And look at this pile up right here. We're going to have to just skim our way to the inside there. Squeak by Kurt Busch. And we are somehow making it through here with only, what, three laps to go now as I am just getting beaten up left, right, and center. There's another takedown assist. Oh, I love running into cars that are already taken out here. Ron Bouchard, should I finish him off? There we go. We, we finished him off. Kurt Busch is going to reverse it into me. All right, this might be the one right here. This might be the one. 34 health. I say that, and then I immediately spin the car out all on my own. Come on. We can do better than this. There's a little gap right here just for me. That is just for me. That, however, was not the way you want to take a corner. There's Jeff Gordon out of the race. And we are coming to the final lap. One more to go. Can we do it? I don't see any way we can do it, considering we have almost a minute lead over Dale Jarrett sitting right there. And I'm just going to give the 43 car one last shot, apparently. I'm going to ass pack the 11, and I'm, I'm just wrecking myself right now. Trying to get this race back, apparently. So, you know what? We're, we're just going to do uh, a signature move right here. We're just going to finish the race in reverse, because why not? Because why not? All right. So, we got that win nice and early there. That was kind of what I was hoping for. And look at the just failure to compete by everybody else. Dale Jarrett, four laps down. And only four cars alive at the end of the race. And magically, somehow, Kurt Busch was one of them. I don't know how he keeps man. I, I feel like we beat up on him a lot. Well, let's see who's down here in last. Oh, Tim Richmond. I'm driving his car right now. You definitely hate to see that. All right. So that's the NASCAR Legends car is taken care of. We've got the win in those out of the way. And now I think for a little fun and games, we'll go ahead and jump to the Gen 6 Camaros like we usually do. So let's go do it. All right. We are back here with the NASCAR Gen 6 Camaros now at the mini oval. And uh, let's go ahead and just jump right into this because you already know this is about to be ridiculous hopefully not quite as ridiculous as the nascar legends though these might guys these guys might put a bit more competition hopefully anyway let's see though we got to make our way through it so far so decent oh boy yep that's just a head-on hit though me and bobby labani are just kissing no big deal all right there's a sentence i don't think has ever been uttered before in, in life but oh my trying to thread the needle just did not work out for me there and i've got a busted rear wheel Okay, Jeff Gordon is going to give him a little bump and run for the lead. No big deal. And we are already making it to the lead. Look at this. All right, we might be in for an easy, smooth sailing wreckfest Friday today. But let's see if I can get through here with all oh, Bill Elliott. That was a rough place to come out of the track there, bud. And you paid the price with a vicious T-bone. I like how there's just tires and, and wheels flailing and flying across the track at all times. And we are making our way through this. I got a takedown assist, though, so now it's ruined. Oh, and I've been ass-packed violently as I wrecked it into a paused car there on the track. And let's see, can I sneak through here again? Nope. Not quite. Not quite at all. Oh, and now me and Ricky Rudd are getting tangled up, and I'm just driving through deceased vehicles to try and get back on track. Tire check. There it is. Had to get one of those in at some point, didn't we? Oh, no. This is bad. This is not good. Me and Richard Petty are fighting for this lead right now. Apparently, he's he's like right behind me, but I don't see him anywhere, and I'm, I've got problems now. This is not good. Okay. Uh, well, that wheel hasn't been working, so the fact that it's gone shouldn't hurt anything, game. Ah, uh, I think we're beached. I think the car is literally just, it's dead. It's, it, it's not one to do anything for us, so I guess we're done. I guess that's it. That's all she wrote, folks. 
All right, well, that's a tough way to uh, end your first race as there's just a mother of all pileups forming behind us as nobody is using their brakes whatsoever. And uh, there's just an ass packing line that's forming behind us, as you can see. Come on, let's try this one last time. Let me get some, let me get some movement going here. Come on, come on, no. All right, I think we've lost. Okay, we'll hit a fat reset right here and we'll be back. All right, so attempt number one was going good until it didn't at all, basically, but uh, you'll have that sometimes in big time wreck fest racing. So we'll go ahead and start it up again. And they're already flying all over the place. We got a tire check. We got a life check back there. I think we just took a few. Oh, I'm being dumped into Jimmy Johnson, into seven times. I just wrecked into two seven time champions, therefore making me a 14 time champion. There you go. That's, that's math. That's logic right there. Look at this. What am I supposed to do about this? Oh, that just ash pack Carl Edwards instead. That's always an alternative, right? But what a pile up zone back there. This is worse than the NASCAR legends. What is going on right now? These guys don't know how to act on this. Oh, my word. Oh, look, look at it. I feel like it's Patrick right now. Look at it. I want all of you to look at it. This is literally a parking lot now. This is a junkyard. And I think we're going to have maybe the, the easiest win of our lives in just a few moments if we can just get this thing around the track like five more times. I think we're going to be all good. And I don't even know what just happened to the four car. He spawns with his back end in the air and then just ass packs the pile up. And there you go. Oh, Carl Edwards emerges. All right. What's up, Carl? Welcome back, tractor boy. Probably what he's sitting on right now as we speak somewhere in Missouri. And he just takes out a sign. Just taking out some signboard. Whoever paid for that one's not going to be pleased. And is that Carl right there just wrecking it into the wall, taking himself out of the race? This one is, is pretty much all over, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we'll go ahead and move on to something else. Oh, wait a minute. We got a couple of them free. Oh, and I've, I've been injected into this pile up right off that that freedness. Oh, Dave, Davey. Now, Davey, that wasn't very intelligent, but just backing up without even looking where you're going, and now my trunk is just wide open. Don't let anybody get into my fuel cell back there. That's not going to be a good time for anybody. See, oh, and there's, there's an... All right, but well, there's a revenge-ass pack for Davey, and we are coming to the white flag right now. So this thing is almost over. Yeah, the other just kicking up dirt. We're slinging it around here as we are just going to sneak to the inside one more time, clip a few cars, and after what might be the easiest race of my entire life, we're going to get the win, and I'm just going to ask back Benny Parsons after the checkered flag, because why not? And that'll do it for that race, anyway. We got it. So what, that was two attempts? Weak sauce. Absolute weak sauce. And look at the, this beatdown that we've been putting on all of them. Actually, no deaths. No wrecks out of the race. We just managed to lap everybody brutally. Seven laps down. You hate to see it. Mark Martin in last once again. Tragic. Well, we're back at the mini oval. As you can see, we have an absolutely fantastic view of the start line. And if I hopefully move just a little bit to the side here, there we go. We have a much better view now of what's about to take place. And you already know what this is about to look like. This is about to look like some pure insanity. So let's just go ahead and get it started with, without further ado. I mean, look at the buses wrap almost all the way around the track to begin with. This place is so tiny. And I've knocked it down two laps just in case this turns into a real mess. And I'm, I'm going to try and make it work on the outside. Come on. Let's go, boys. Oh, somebody's been flipped over in the middle, and this is not going to end well. This is not going to end well. Here comes the pack. Oh, my word. Somehow we fought our way through this. Hey, we're actually going to get to the first lap. Cool. Okay, around the corner we go with just so much speed and precision. Oh, my word. What What am I supposed to do? I guess I should have cut to the inside. Oh, that may not be an option anymore. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a bus party, boys. Uh... It's a, it's a bus lot now is what it's become. This is, this is a bus farm. Oh, yep. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a bit of a problem here, as you can see. Uh, if we could go ahead and maybe not be in total gridlock would, would be nice. Just an idea. Just, uh, just a thought. The general plan. You know. Uh, yeah. Not sure what we're going to do about this one, ladies and gentlemen. 
I don't know if we're gonna get this one back. Wait a minute, we got life back here. Hold on. We're gonna have to go backwards and come back out. Oh, oh no. Oh, we have been properly boxed in now. This is tragic. This really is a tragedy. The school children will not be getting to school on time. There will be severe delays. I'm, I'm removing buses from life, apparently, as I do this, so that's very easy. Oh, somebody's managed to sneak away. And they're just gonna go ahead and add on to the pile from behind. Uh, that blue bus right there is really screwing everybody over, that one. Uh, because he's in such a bad spot. Oh, and look, and then he, 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 he corrects it. And then the red bus is just gonna go in and... Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, come on. I think that red bus in front of me, if he can just back... If we can back up and let that red bus get a little bit more turn. We can make it. We're so close to being free. There we go. Yeah, screw you, red bus. I'm dumping you. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, I just took out Mark Martin. Tragic. Absolutely tragic, and no neck Newman right here as well. We're gonna just go ahead and slam it up his inside. Now, I have not fallen for that mistake twice. I am sending it up the inside. Oh my. DW, DW, I thought you were supposed to be retired, DW. What are you doing in a school bus, DW? I feel, oh my, I feel like we can be doing better than this, DW, I feel like it, oh my word, what just, I tried to go to the outside of that bus to knock it out of the way, and the wall was just like, actually, no, that's not gonna happen, alright, that actually counts as a lap for me, even though I cut so deep into the grass over there to avoid this bus parking lot over here, uh, yeah, yep, yep, we're just gonna have to do that again, by the looks of things, I'm sorry guys, I can't really help stupidity, uh, that one's kind of a you problem. Hey, that bus is finally out of the way a little bit, though. And we're in the lead with that maneuver as well. So that's pretty nice. The red bus is just going to go fly in there and knock a few more of them around. Excuse me, guys. Just going to go ahead and uh, take the shortcut right here. No big deal. And uh, we're going to have some blue on blue crime here in a moment, it looks like. there. Oh, Kurt, he's going to give the he's gonna give the other blue bus a little kiss. Isn't that sweet? Okay. We just need to finish this one up, because what in the world have we witnessed here today? This has been some mini oval madness, and we're not even done yet. As we get the white flag. So we have one lap to go. Let's just wrap this one up and never try it again. I wonder if Pinball Mod would have helped that out. Oh my, I'm not even going to make it to the finish line. Mark Martin has done it to me. I can't believe Mark. I can't, yeah, back up so my tire is literally hitting you in the face. What a genius. Yeah, Mark. Thanks so much, Mark. I appreciate this. I'm gonna wait for you to knock me over. I'm gonna wait for you to be the general. What are you doing? Mark Martin is, is a four IQ individual, guaranteed. All right, well, that's just gonna go ahead and wrap that one up. Oh my goodness. All right, so the school buses, maybe not the right idea for the mini oval, but I think I know of something else that might be perfect if you ask me. So let's see. Who did get last? I, I didn't look. It was Richard Bay, the king, in last place. Tragic. And No Neck Newman finishes second to us, the glorious victor once again. And we have got our next contestant up here. Oh boy. Yeah. We've got the lawnmowers out here on the short oval. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this as well because there's no need to halt the carnage. And we are underway. Starting all the way at the back, so this is the last of first challenge. And I'm already making moves on Mark Martin up the inside. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he's just shoving people into other people. We're shoving up the inside. It's draft time. Oh, where are you guys going? Oh, we got a couple of them. Did I see one wrecked out already? I did. Oh, I'm running some poor guy over. Oh, my God. It's pure destruction back there. We lost a few good ones, boys. F's in the chat. Oh, Jimmy Johnson just got swiped dead and then so I didn't even see who did it, but they lost their life in battle. Oh, and somebody on a white mower gets crunched as well. Oh, hang on. We got some boys missing the corner right here. Watch out. And we're in the lead. Oh, how about that? We are in the lead with the best lap and all. And we're going to just cream some poor guy just laying in the track. You, you are absolutely disgusted by the, the sight of it. And I uh, do a little mini tire check there as well as Dick Tricklow. I think he took a swipe at me right there. I think that was a shot being taken. And I'm not happy about it. I am very displeased. I've got Tony Stout. I've got smoke on me here. Come on, smoke. Get off me, bud. Oh, they're just missing the corner. And Tony Stewart, I thought he was going to go head on the wall. 
He did not manage to do it though, and we are coming down to two laps to go here. I'm just gonna hit this guy in his head and send him flying. Oh, this, these poor guys. These poor guys, they're just doing cartwheels over here. They're so happy about it. Oh, Jody Ridley almost took him out of the race. Oh man, I was too focused on running over the corpses of fallen racers and and uh, I nearly took out Jody Wrigley. That would have been a real shame, but we are on the final lap now. The white flag is flailing. And we are just, oh, that could have been very tragic. Please nobody wreck into me. Please don't wreck into me. I am on the home stretch. Thank you very much. And with that, we are gonna take the dub Right, oh, and I get dumped after the finish line. Well, that's one way to be salty about losing. I see how it is, and Dick Trick will finish the second, and I've been killed after the fact, I think. I managed to stay on the mower somehow, so. There you go, that was Lawnmowers. We've had a little smorgasbord of different races here today with the NASCAR Legends, the NASCAR Gen 6 Camaros, the school buses, and the Lawnmowers. But I think I've got one last idea. I've got one last set of vehicles that we haven't used these in a long time. So uh, we're going to give him one last proper shot here in this video and see how things go. Well, we are here with the Super Vans, the Reliant Robins, and this is sure, once again, to be nothing but chaos. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. We are starting near the back. At least we're on the actual straightaway this time. That's kind of nice. So let's see how we can do. Let's see if we can get this win and send ourselves off with a nice little walk-off win. Or will it take us a few tries? We don't know. I'm just going to send Terry Labonte over onto a... Oh, my word. Who is that? Tiny Lund just had a big one. Tiny Lund just had, like, a blowover at Talladega on the mini oval in a super van. And I am mounting somebody in front of me. I just mounted Donnie Allison. That's that's not something you want to see. But, oh, he's going to hit the wall as well. You don't want to see that. You hate to see it. Let's see if we can get this thing around the corner without tipping over here. It's not exactly easy. I'm not even in first here. We're, we're riding second right now to Ron Bouchard. Oh, no. Oh, a series of collisions right there. And I've got one flip over me. Oh, my goodness. We are just getting knocked around. All right. This might not be as easy as we thought here. This thing is winding down already. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yep, I was trying to get that thing to steer. It would not, and now I am boxed in. And Fireball Roberts is like side mounting me. And Fireball, I'd really appreciate it if you just got away from me. Thank you. We've fallen down to six with that. That is tragic. Now that is very tragic. Oh, orange. Oh, what are you? Uh, what an ass pack. It, uh, that was like an ass send. I don't even know what to call that. I just got lifted from behind. I'm not pleased about it. Oh, yep, there's a pileup just forming right there. No no biggie and Kyle Petty. And let me tell you about Brawny. I'm just going to go ahead and steal on the inside of him. Take that position into fourth. Can I get on the podium at least? Can I get on the podium? Donnie Allison's going to go hard in the wall, and that's going to give me that podium spot I was looking for, but we're not done. Every time. It's so big. These cars, they refuse to steer in certain situations, and now I'm just being had. Come on. Come on, turn around. Oh, this is, of course, it wants to stick into the wall. Come on, let's just get out of here. I just want to get out of this pile up. Oh, my God, I'm getting knocked over. This is it. This is it. The race is over. I my, my race just ended right there as I lost a million spots. I lost, like, three, but okay. All right, can I get the win on the last lap here? No, I can't. Ricky Rudd has stolen victory. But I am just easing it around the corner. Oh, and even that isn't good enough sometimes. Phil Parsons just decides to stick it in me as I go by. Oh, and I'm gonna get one down. I'm being bullied right now. Look at this. Oh, Dale Jr. Oh, I thought he was gonna come get me as well, but I think it was Carl Edwards that just shoved one in my mouth. That sounds very awful, but we're gonna get to the finish line at least. At least we got, at least we did finish. However, we just missed out on the podium and what a podium it was, dude. A shout out to the yesteryears of NASCAR, man. Ricky Rudd, Harry Gann, and DW on the podium. That's a stacked podium right there. All right, well, you know what? We didn't get the win, so you already know what's happening next. We're hitting a restart. Okay, attempt number two of the Reliance. Let's go. Didn't get the best start there either. They kind of left me behind. Maybe they have 25 horsepower to my 20 with these absolute machines, and there's a big one. There is a pile of great sacks is going over, and so are a bunch of others. Oh my, Texas Terry just went on a ride. There's a bunch of rides being had right now. Oh, Kyle Petty just kind of sent it up my inside there. He's going to bounce off me, though. We're going to keep going. 
I got a yellow one pulling across the track. There's Fireball Roberts. Watch out. Greg Sachs pulling it back into my lane. And I've taken the lead. But how, but how, by how much, I do not know. Three seconds over Ernie Irvin. Terry Labonte is swerving at me. Terry, where are you going? Back up, Terry. Oh, boy. Bill Port oh! What are you doing, Ron Bouchard? Ron Bouchard, I, he just jacked me up and sent me flying in the air. And now, oh, my goodness me. Donnie Allison just took his life into his own hands. Ernie Irvin has gotten by me for the lead, and we're going to get right by him back with him. Dale Jr. stills the lead. This is fantastic racing thus far. Me and Dale Jr. are in a race now. Oh, no. No, this, this, why is this the most entertaining thing I've done in a very long time? What is this all about? Why are the Reliant Robins delivering me endless entertainment? How is this possible? How is Dale Jr. leading this race, too? What a legend. And he's crashed. As soon as the words left my mouth, he puts it in the wall. You hate to see it. And we enter the final lap with a shot at victory, but will it be stolen from us as the the yellow car at Terry Labonte said his life stolen from him? Can I get through? Kyle Petty is going to drag race me through the line here. No, he's not. He's way behind, and that is going to be the dub we were looking for as I then crash head on into the wall afterwards. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was an action-packed Wreckfest Friday, if you ask me. That was, that was a pretty good one. We did what? We did NASCAR Legends, NASCAR Gen 6. We did school buses we did lawnmowers and then we finished things up with super vans that's a pretty successful day to me i would say so thank you everybody so much for watching we're gonna wrap it up right there if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff leave a comment down below and just thank you guys so much once again for watching and i will see you all in the next one Boom! Let's <laughs> go.